Hello, I'm Barb Bernardi. And I'm Shakir Ali, and you're watching the Pensalkin News. And now, for our first story. For the first time, Howard Pfeiffer Middle School is offering robotics for a full marking period as a related arts class. The robotics program, taught by Mrs. Tracy McSweeney, is designed for students to explore, build, and program small Lego NXT robots. Through this robotics course, Mrs. McSweeney hopes to spark an interest in her students about robotics so that they may possibly pursue a career in engineering. Recently, First Clary classes from Carson Elementary School had their class trip to Adventure Aquarium in Camden. Walking through the aquarium, the students observed sharks swimming right above their heads. Other sea animals, such as sea turtles, crabs, sea stars, fish, jellyfish, and seahorses were seen in various tanks throughout the aquarium. Carson staff would like to give a big thank you to all the parents who volunteered to chaperone for the trip. The kids had a great time. We now take you to Billy Wright, Pensalkin High School's athletic director for your sports update. Billy Wright here, Pensalkin High School athletic director with your Big Red Sports Update. The high school championship season has arrived and four of the six Pensalkin High School spring teams competed in the postseason competition. Girls lacrosse, boys and girls track and field, and boys volleyball put their best foot forward after a 10-week scrimmage and regular competition season. Track and field begins their postseason at Central High School in the sectionals as the top six in each event qualify for the NJSI State Group Championships, and then the top six from the groups advance to the meet of champions. The girls will be led by defending sectional champions Olivia Jamison in the sprints and Indigo Pascal in the long jump. Also expecting to score high is Asia Davis, the BCSL League 100-meter champion, and middle distance school record holders Brianna Roberts and Amanda Backley. The boys team is expected to score big points in the sprints with Martin Booker Jr. and Marquan Jones, as well as in the 400 and 1600 meter relays. The 400 meter relay team is ranked number one in the state in group three. Justin Weaver is also ranked high in the javelin throw. Boys volleyball has qualified and defeated Lacey Township from Central Jersey in the first round and moved on to the second round to take on Kingsway. They're expected to go deep into the tournament with mid-center Anthony Dadson spiking opponents down, and he's ranked as one of the top spikers in the entire state of New Jersey. Girls Lacrosse has qualified for the first time in several years and is led by Olivia Summerfield, who has scored 40 goals this season. Amanda Backley and Brianna Roberts have set school records for the girls' track team. Widely known for producing some of South Jersey's top sprinters, PHS now has two of the top middle distance runners in juniors Amanda Backley and Brianna Roberts. Brianna took down the metric mile school record that was the longest standing record on the books with her 515.42 performance at the BCSL Championships on May 9th. The record from 1995 was held by Patty Goldie. Amanda took down the 3,200 meter school records. That's two miles for you, those of you who are metrically uh, challenged. She did it at the Rowan Invitational on May 1st with her 11.11.48 performance. That's 11 minutes and 11 seconds for two miles. Pretty quick. The former record was from 1999 by Megan O'Halloran. Amanda also took a big step forward with the college recruiters as the 4.0 student won the 2,000 meter steeplechase in 7 minutes and 15 seconds at the Rowan Invitational. The race requires contestants to negotiate four 30 inch barriers and one water jump, just like the horses do, on each of the five laps. Amanda's performance is the seventh fastest in the USA this spring and the fourth fastest in New Jersey history. Five of our student teams won BCSL championships. The Indians track and field team continues to exhibit championship caliber performance as four individuals and one relay quartet won Burlington County Scholastic League Liberty Division gold medals. Junior Marquan Jones won his second consecutive BCSL championship 400 meter title by blistering the track in 49.7 seconds. On the girls' side of the ledger, sophomore Asia Davis was a surprise winner in the 100-meter dash in 12.99 seconds. 
Olivia Jamison won both the 200 and 400 meter dashes, and Brianna Roberts captured the 800 meter run. The 400 4x400 400 meter relay quartet of, of Olivia, Brianna, Amon Sable, and Ajani McGady grabbed the gold medal in 4 minutes 10 seconds. Pfeiffer Middle School is joining in on the party as they claimed another Penn Relays gold medal. The Pfeiffer Middle School boys track team continued the winning Penn Relays tradition when they won the 2015 edition of the South Jersey 4x100 Relay Championships. The Pfeiffer girls started the Dutch tradition as they won the girls race in both 2012 and 2013. The 2015 boys win gives the Indians a run of four straight Penn Relays titles. The boys also won in 2014. The Cherish Pen Relays plaque and gold medals went to 8th graders Nazir Russell, Miguel McGeady, Dante Burke, and Donovan Hines. Pfeiffer is coached by Chad Pierce and Dave Corson. If you want to keep up with all of the athletic happenings, the school district website sports button is the place to be. Contest schedules for the fall 2015 season can be found at www.pensalkin.net as well as information about the Varsity Club, All Sports Boosters Club, college recruiting, and a wealth of other athletic-related events. And remember, go Big Red! Delaire School participated in the Jump Rope for Heart program. This annual event, which benefits the American Heart Association, was organized by physical education teacher Mr. Paris. The Friends of the Pentalkin Library will be offering AARP two-day safe driving course June 2nd and 3rd from 1 to 4 p.m. at the library. Since the maximum number of attendees is limited to 25, you'll want to sign up soon. Cost is $15 per person for AARP members and $20 per person for non-members. You must provide a check at the time you sign up at the library circulation desk. The annual Senior Citizen Prom was recently held at Pemsalkin High School. There was food, beverages, dancing, and corsages for the ladies. Then, seniors enjoyed a wonderful performance of Guys and Dolls put on by the talented students of Pemsalkin High School. A great time was had by all, and a very special thanks to the Pemsalkin Teachers Association who sponsored this wonderful event, as well as the Pemsalkin students who graciously volunteered their time. That's it for this edition of Pensalkin News. Be sure to tune in at 10, 4, and 7 daily for what to do and where to go in Pensalkin. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.